uh, we're here with Brenda with Bella Fina Chocolates here in Kingsport, and uh, she's going to tell us all about Bella Fina's. <laughs> all right, I will. We're trying to stay, uh, keep our six feet apart. Yes, we're trying, <laughs> we're trying to keep our social distancing. <laughs> so, thank you for joining us. Um, I do want to tell you about Bella Fina Chocolates because it's not just a chocolate company. Um, we're very unique um, and actually unique across the country um, in that we are a nonprofit. Um, it's called a social enterprise, which means that we operate just like a regular chocolate company, um, but we give away 100% of our profits to children's charities. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, we um, have been in business for 10 years. We are now located downtown Kingsport, uh, 123 Cherokee Street. We are just around the corner from Main Street Pizza, down on the Main Street end of town. Um, and you can come in. We have a drive through window. Um, we have a chocolate shop here, which is where we're standing right now. Um, you can uh, pick your flavors out of the case and build your own um, best box of, of chocolate truffles. And then we also have chocolate bars and chocolate covered dried fruits and nuts and espresso beans. Um, but I do want to say a little bit about our mission because that's really the reason that we exist. Um, our chocolate is amazing and you'll see how we make it back there, but, um, but the reason we exist is our mission. Um, so the first part of our mission is to help children. Um, we donate 100% of our profits to children's charities that are focused on kids suffering from disease, poverty, abuse, or neglect. So that's orphanages around the world, it's CASA. Um, it's uh, sliding scale preschools for kids that can't afford it, that sort of thing. Um, we also have recently started funding um, the Miracle Field, um, which is brand new, love it, um, and um, uh, St. Jude's in Johnson City and so on. Um, so that's our mission about children. The second part of our mission is to help women who are threatened and need a leg up. So we are 100% volunteers um, and have been from the beginning, except that uh, a few years ago we started creating some paid positions for women who are in recovery, or for women who are survivors of domestic violence, or for women who are um, single mothers living in poverty. And typically the women that we have working here under that program are probably all three. Um, and the idea is that they come in, um, they learn job skills, they learn how to work and how to be reliable and productive and so on, but also our volunteers serve as amazing mentors because these are women who have just done great things in their lives. They've been business owners or teachers or engineers or whatever, um, and they're volunteering here and as they sit side by side and work together on making chocolate or packaging chocolate, they may be talking about yeah, about parenting skills or, um, you know, going back to school or, you know, getting a job or anything Share like that. Share some life experiences. Yes, yes, yes. And they also serve as, as um, people that safe, a safe place that those women can rely on when, <clears throat> excuse me, when things get tough. Um, some of them sort of almost act like mom or grandma sometimes, you know? <laughs> so it's really, really sweet. Um, and then the third part of our mission I'll just touch on real briefly is to um, inspire people to think about how they can work in their own lives um, to help other people. Um, and it doesn't have to be something like starting up, you know, this nonprofit and all of that. It can be volunteering at, your, at, at a charity that really stirs your heart or making masks for for the medical clinics or um, like my mom makes makes quilts and, and clothing that we send over to the orphanages. Anything that a person can do with the skills that God gave you um, to <clears throat> to um, help other people. Um, and so so that's part of our mission is to kind of by we hope that by people seeing our story and what we're doing it sort of sparks some ideas in their head about how they can how they can give back in their own lives. So that's what we're, that's what we are about. Um, so I think what we'll do is we will scooch down to the, um, down the hallway and I'm going to grab my mask just okay. in case we end up needing it. Yeah, um, I'll let we're going to scooch down the hallway and um, we can see where um, the French macarons are made. Um, this is a business that um, has just started up about a year ago. 
it's an independent business, uh, but we built the kitchen in our in our facility here because the missions align so well. So she um, makes the macaroons in order to employ women who are in recovery or women who have been and who, women who have been incarcerated. Um, it's kind of the first job out of jail. Um, and then we'll go back to the chocolate kitchen and see where the magic happens. Oh, so follow me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is the macaroon kitchen and um, you can come around and show I'll stand back so uh, so she's baking macaroon shells today <laughs> you need to see your eyes that just got really big on that <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's awesome. so real life tours are much better because you get taste samples but <laughs> And like I said, Tabitha's uh, mission is very similar. It's to um, to help women who are in recovery and uh, who have been incarcerated um, and provide jobs for them and mentoring at the same time. Um, we have a couple of volunteers working on our accounting system. Y'all can wave to them and just say hello. <laughs> hello. Emmett and Carrie. Okay, and back here is the chocolate kitchen. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> um, Ooh. So, um, right now, she's making centers. Um, that's the soft part of the truffle. So, um, you can see it's kind of a kitchen operation where, where you take the melted chocolate and you mix the cream and butter and whatever flavoring. This smells like oh, it's cinnamon. Mm -hmm. so. um, in this yeah. case, it has some cinnamon oil in it. And we lay them out in these square frames and um, let that set and cure until it's set up. And then once it's set up, um, if you turn around that little white machine right behind you, uh, once it's set up, that operates a bit like a paper cutter and we'll cut it to the very precise square size and shape that we need for our um, truffles. And then if you get a shot over here, this, and once we make the centers and get them all cut, um, we run them on this machine. So. This machine here has, um, this one has probably 70 or 80 pounds, I'll back up so you can get a good shot of it. That has probably 70 or 80 pounds of melted chocolate in it at any time. Um, and so what that's doing is, is warming it up to temperature um, and then it will temper the chocolate, um, which is a process that, um, that stabilizes it. So if you've ever just like melted chocolate chips and, and left them out, um, it gets kind of white and cloudy after a while, after a day or two. Um, that's because it's not tempered once you melt them. Um, so this tempers it so that we can keep our chocolates at room temperature for three weeks or so, and they, they stay shiny and dark and, and beautiful. Um, and um, But when we're ready to run, we will slide that machine under this conveyor belt here. We have a volunteer standing on this end that, um, that puts the... Um, the center's on the one end, and then the conveyor belt will kind of march them through a little double waterfall of chocolate underneath that, that shield there. Um, and then the air will kind of blow off the extra chocolate and it'll sort of shake shake the extra chocolate down, which of course is going to fall back into this machine. Um, and then once it gets about here is where we decorate it. So we can sprinkle like orange zest on the orange truffles or red hots on the cinnamon truffles. Um, that's also where we put our custom logos, and I'll show you those in a minute as to how that looks. But we we do a lot of work for companies. They can um, they can uh, send us their logo, and we can get it imprinted on uh, these little transfer sheets. And when the chocolates come out here, we press that that uh, that image down into the chocolate. It's on a food grade backer. Um, then it travels through the um, the cooling tunnel here. So that by the time it gets to the end of that long tunnel, it's completely ready to be finished. And so we have another um, volunteer or two at the other end um, that'll peel off that backer off of the design, um, take special chocolate gloves, pick up the chocolate and put them into these uh, paper cups. Um, and then they're ready to be packaged into the, into the boxes um, and sold. So, um, this machine we got two or three years ago because we had run out of capacity. Um, we uh, we used to run out the whole business on that that little machine that's over there in the corner, um, and uh, we we grew so much that we ran out of capacity and had to put this big one in. Um, so that one runs on white chocolate now, where this one's on dark chocolate, 
and I'll show you what, what really cool thing we can do with that machine now. So if you'll come around this corner and trip over the wire. So over here we are in the we're packaging up a couple of orders. So this is kind of our typical box. This is a 15 piece box and you can see how um, we can put like the custom words and logos and some designs like the Argyle here or the Long Island iced tea. Um, so a lot of companies will actually have us put their color logo on there um, and then we can also put the logo on the box. And so at Christmas time, um, companies will send them out as thank you gifts for their for their clients mm -hmm. so that's one way that um, the viewing audience can help if they have friends or family especially out of town um, they have probably not heard about us um, and if you have friends or family that um, either would be interested in chocolate for their personal use or if, if they're connected with companies if they own companies or a salesman for a company or whatever um, companies are are always going to be giving gifts regardless. Um, and so this is a gift that everybody loves chocolate. It's really good chocolate, very fresh, made to order. Um, and 100% of the profits give back. Um, and so so companies, once they hear about that, um, they wanna do it. So oh, yeah. that will help us grow, helps mm -hmm. us donate more to the ch children's charities, and helps us employ more women. So yeah. that's that would be a great thing that people could help with. I did want to show you this other also. I know you got a little bit of a shot of it. So we can put, with that white chocolate machine, we can put photos on the truffles as well as on the box. Now this one happens to be a um, pageant that has decided to locate in Kingsport. Um, so they, they're here this week and next week. Um, and uh, so we, we're doing these for, for um, the beauty queens, which is amazing. Um, mm -hmm. But um, we have had great fun with this because people will do it for weddings. They'll put like... Oh, uh, the couple's engagement photo on the truffles, and then we can do um, truffles for either a tray to put out on the reception, or they'll put them in a little package for um, sitting at the table if they're having a sit-down dinner, or they'll do uh, small boxes that they might put in, in the hotel room for, you know, grandma and aunt and uncle that come in from out of town to come to the wedding. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, But we've also had fun with it with um, 40 and 50th birthday parties and with um, with baby announcements we've had we had uh, somebody just create those boxes with their baby's photo on it and that's how they announced the birth of the baby they sent them to their relatives that were out of town which was really cute sweet. idea yeah so we get to be involved in lots of joyful things <laughs> for um, for people um, so um, one thing I did want to mention before I get sidetracked and then you're gonna tell me what I forgot uh, is um, a couple of ways that um, people in the audience can actually help us. Um, so I've mentioned one already. If you know um, people who um, are connected with businesses, particularly people out of town, and the only reason I say that is because a lot of Kingsport businesses actually know about us, but maybe not. Um, but um, if you can um, just tell them what we do, um, link them to our website, send them, a, send them a link, or just tell them our name. Um, our website is bellafina.com. Um, and um, tell them about our, our custom corporate gifts, or if you contact me, I can give you a little uh, flyer that you could you can email or, or text or whatever. Um, and um, that that really helps helps us um, get connected with new businesses. Um, also, if you know anybody that's having a wedding or a baby or whatever, these photo truffles would be great. And then also just keep us in mind for your personal gifts. Um, so we do ship across the U.S. and we do that year round right through this hot old summer. Um, we use ice packs and insulated packaging for that. So as what we found is as people have been isolating at home, um, a lot of people are ordering chocolates to send to friends. We'll, we'll, you tell us what you want on the card and we'll write out a personalized card. You can order online so or you can call up on the phone so you don't have to leave your living room mm -hmm. and you can reach out to somebody, a uh, friend or family, that you're not able to go visit in person during this time. So that is also very helpful. And then hopefully when all of this gets settled down, um, we use a ton of volunteers. Um, usually like the month before Christmas um, is our busiest time and we, we would love to have some ladies come and volunteer. Um, 
We use guys, not so much in the in the kitchen, but um, we we do have various repair jobs that that uh, my dad gets overwhelmed with how many things we have to do sometimes. So he probably could use some help. <laughs> um, and what else? So I mentioned the website. It's bellafina.com, and um, our address one two three Cherokee Street. And I'll go ahead and tell you our phone number, um, which is four two three two nine two. Two two seven one. What else? And you know, uh, Brenda, I wanted to ask you how how did you get this started? Oh, well, um, so it's been it's been in business for ten years, um, and um, I actually started it while I was working full time. I was the vice president over at Eastman, um, okay. and it was really just a way to give back a little bit more tangibly than writing a check. Um, and so I just started it up as this little bitty thing that was not supposed to grow into anything much. Uh, uh, just did it in the evenings and weekends, dipping truffles in a bowl in my tr in my kitchen. Um, and the, the state of Tennessee had a, a had a program where you could license your home kitchen and start up a little business like that. So we would um, I do that, and then we would we would go to the downtown concerts and set up a little tent and do a, do a fundraiser for say the literacy council or something. And, we raised a couple thousand dollars um, that first year for um, for charity. Um, one thing led to another. Somewhere along the way, I lost my job at Eastman. Um, was going to get a new job and just kept getting drawn back to wanting to do something with more purpose with the second half of my career. Um, and just loved this chocolate business that was you know very tiny at the time. Um, and so. One thing led to another, and it's, it ended up I had all this equipment, and the city helped us get in this building, which has been great for us. Um, and every time, as we grew and, and uh, didn't have enough people to help, more volunteers would show up, which was amazing. Um, and so we really, really feel like um, God has blessed this ministry because whenever we need something, it just walks through the front door. Uh, maybe not immediately, and maybe not quite in the form that I had anticipated, but um, we have seemed to just get our needs met as we need them, um, which is amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. that's wonderful. Well, um, yeah, you, you've covered basically everything, I, I think. Uh, it's a great overview of uh, Bellafina, and uh, what a wonderful ministry. And uh, by all means, uh, if there's any seniors, or senior volunteers that we have, if they're interested, we'll definitely send them your way. That'd be and great. We certainly appreciate you talking with us today, and uh, hope you continue to have much success in your business. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. And everybody, say stay, stay, stay safe. <laughs> Keep your masks on. Self isolate. <laughs> and we'll come out the other end, and everything will be fine. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. All right.